Okay, this is a very bizarre camera angle, I feel like, but you know what? We're just gonna run with it at this point. Welcome to a vlog that is very much going to be a slice of life type of vlog. This is not a productive day in my life. It's not a 5 a.m. or early morning day in my life. It is just a day in my life. With that said though, I have to say this is not a typical day in my life uh, because it's starting off in a very atypical fashion. My husband has been wanting LASIK eye surgery for quite some time, really ever since I've known him. And today he's finally getting it done. I'm so proud of him. He's just taking the leap. He's saying, you know what? This is going to be worth it. We're going to do it, which is really exciting. I mean, I've, I'm not a candidate for LASIK eye surgery. I'm really lucky that my vision is great. Obviously down the line, I may be. As I get older, I'm sure my vision is going to deteriorate so we'll, we'll cross that bridge whenever I come to it, if I do. But it is something that he's been wanting for a really long time. So today is the day. That is the first thing that we're doing this morning is I am going to be his chauffeur. Even though the surgery is really quick and the results do happen very, very quickly, he will one, be popping a Xanax, so he won't be able to drive. And also they say that your eyes are just way sensitive to light immediately after. So he wouldn't be able to drive regardless of being on any kind of medication anyway and I just want to be there for him because even though it's like a really cool procedure I mean it's amazing how far technology has advanced that we even have this at our disposal but you know I want to I want to be a good wife be there for him hold his hand actually I'm not allowed in the room but I am allowed to watch which is cool they have a little seating area right outside of the procedure room so I'll actually get to sit there and take you guys along with me I don't know how graphic it'll be or if it'll even be interesting hi Katie from the future here um <laughs> let me just put a little disclaimer now that I have actually seen the procedure and I put some of it on camera um, and I am going to show some of it in this vlog. However, if you're sensitive to like anything regarding eyeballs or surgery in general, there's not like blood or anything per se, but it is kind of intense. So uh, I'm going to put chapters down, of course, below in the description box. And if that is just like not your cup of tea and it, you are sensitive or like grossed out or just squeamish about that stuff, you can skip ahead because it was actually like a little bit more intense watching it than I thought. Also, if you plan to get LASIK, and you don't want to see what actually happens kind of under the hood, then I would suggest you skip it as well. Anyway, all right, back to past me. So that's what we're doing to start off our day. Like I said, this is a day in my life, but it is not a typical one. So that is going to be our very, very first stop this morning. And after that, I think we're just going to be playing it by ear. Of course, I want to make sure that he's doing a-okay. He has to go back at like two o'clock in the afternoon, which is kind of wild because his procedure, uh, well, he has to be there at nine. I I think it actually happens at 9 30 or 10 and then he comes home like gets to sleep and just rest and relax for a few hours and then we go back at two o'clock so that way they can just make sure everything is healing fine so between after the procedure and then then i'm hanging out with you guys so the world is our oyster what are we gonna do today i don't know actually i do have some ideas but first thing is first we're gonna go take a little trip to uh the lasik eye surgery place and watch my husband get his eyeballs lasered <laughs> please let me know too and i know i say this essentially in every vlog but I am always curious if you have a preference in these type of videos or the ones that are a little bit more structured talking about like productivity routines morning routines giving like practical advice you know I, I'm right now I'm trying to balance it where it's like every other one is one of those style of videos so like this is a very vloggy style of video but the previous one was a little bit more structured about you know habits to level up your mind body and spirit and from what I see you guys enjoy these more realistic kind of peeks into daily life and and one I appreciate that so much but that's also a content that I really love to consume myself too so if you guys enjoy it we're gonna keep making them all right I think it is about time for us to leave so I'm gonna go grab my big guy and then we're gonna hit the road and go go get his eyes fixed <laughs> let's go
Okay, wow, hi, welcome back. Okay, yeah, I had to give that disclaimer earlier because it was just wild to watch and it is so cool that we have this kind of medical advancement and the technology to take someone's eyesight and make it, I think they said his should be 2015, like that's crazy cool. But I do have to say it was like really wild to watch. And then after the fact, I, I couldn't record too much more because he was so sensitive to light. It's crazy. It is the brightest day in Los Angeles after what has felt like weeks and weeks of just cloudiness and rain. And today of all days, it is so bright outside, not a cloud in the sky. And immediately afterwards, you are so sensitive to light. Like they had to turn off all the lights just to make sure that like the lens was healing properly right before we left. And so one of the reasons I couldn't film immediately after is he, I had to quite literally move him from the doctor's office into my car, which wasn't parked nearby. Like it was a good probably quarter mile away. And not only that, there was like stairs and elevators and steps and <laughs> so many obstacles and the poor guy couldn't see anything. Which when you take into consideration the procedure that you're getting is probably a very scary thing. The fact that you can't open your eyes at all, but they said it was totally normal. He's upstairs, we closed all the blinds and the drapes and the TVs on. They said that was okay, but I'm pretty sure he's just gonna take a, a long nap for the time being. Man, that was fascinating though. I mean, I don't get grossed out by that stuff. Uh, I think it's just like really interesting and, and cool. And I'm so thankful for medical professionals that like are able to do this. It was really, really crazy. What a morning. Okay, well, now what I think I'm gonna do while he is asleep and since we do have to go back in a couple of hours, I'm gonna prep just some little like lunch or dinner if you know he's hungry in a little bit. I'm hungry right now, so I'll probably eat some. And first let me just say like, uh, thank God for HelloFresh. They are sponsoring this video. I'm gonna talk about them in a second as I'm actually making everything. But because I'm traveling so much, I don't wanna get tons of groceries that are just gonna sit in my fridge and go badly. I'm sure you guys resonate with that. Especially like going on a vacation or any kind of trip that you know like the milk's gonna expire or whatever is gonna go badly in the fridge. It's just, I always hate wasting food. So this is what I'm gonna make today. It's their pasta primavera. One, it looks so good, but also another reason I'm making it is because pasta, I feel like always makes really good leftovers. And so instead of making two servings, I'm just gonna make the whole thing. I'm gonna make all four servings and then put some in Tupperware if we have any leftover, which I'm sure we will. And also it just looks really, really good. It has bell pepper, zucchini, penne pasta. Yeah, so thankful that we do have this right now because the last thing that I wanna do is have groceries that are going to expire and everything is pre-portioned and done. So I think that's next while he is snooze in, I am going to be making us this delicious pasta dish. Let's get to it. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring today's video. I have been so busy traveling lately, which means that when I'm actually home, meal prep or grocery shopping, yeah, those things are not gonna happen. So that's where HelloFresh has actually become a game changer because they handle the meal planning and the shopping. So all I have to do is just open my box of pre-portioned ingredients and just get cooking. We're all trying to save money, we're all trying to eat better, and for me, definitely stress less, and HelloFresh helps me do all three of those things as I've been so incredibly busy. By joining America's number one meal kit, I'm experiencing my most delicious year yet by having fresh ingredients with chef-crafted recipes at a price that I actually love delivered right to my door. And if you have a sweet tooth like me, then you know that there's nothing better than having a treat after a delicious meal, and HelloFresh actually agrees. In fact, they're giving all new subscribers free dessert for life. That means you're gonna get a totally free dessert item with every single HelloFresh delivery as long as your subscription is active. So click the link in the description or you can use my code Katie16FM and get 16 free meals and free dessert for life while subscription is active. Thank you so much to HelloFresh for sponsoring this video. Hello from the Target parking lot. It is significantly later in the afternoon now. We already went to Kyle's follow-up appointment at two and they said everything is healing exactly as it should. Everything looks great. He does have to do a significant amount of like eye drops over the next week, week and a half. Also, they gave him this really goofy looking shield that he has to wear when he sleeps for the next like three or four nights, I believe. It's only for when he sleeps, but that's just to prevent him from accidentally like poking or hitting his eye. And then they also gave him some 
some sunglasses too. Also kind of funny looking, gotta say, <laughs> but that's just for when he's like outside. Also, they told him driving at night is going to be difficult for a few days. The whole thing is so interesting. Like I'm still very fascinated by it, but he is again back upstairs, just resting, taking it easy. And thankfully the light sensitivity already has gotten a little bit better, but they said it'll take a good like 24, maybe even 48 hours for that to kind of get back to some <laughs> level of normal. And I guess that's just how long it takes for your brain to kind of catch up to like the trauma that your eyeballs just went through and also recognize that they can now see differently. It's all, again, super interesting. But yeah, here at Target now, about to run just a couple of errands that I need. On the way here, was listening to the new Ariana Grande album. It came out last night and I forgot, I completely forgot. And so this was the first opportunity I've had to actually like listen to it. And so far, so good. I'm not even halfway through yet because this Target's relatively close to where we live, but it's pretty good. It's definitely more, I feel like it's more R&B than her typical albums. It's a little less poppy, but still poppy. I mentioned this in a previous video, but we have like so much great music coming up. Like this album I've been looking forward to. I'm really looking forward to the new Casey Musgraves album, which I think comes out next week or in two weeks, something like that. Then Beyonce has a new album. I mean, we are being fed so well. But here, let me pull up my list. I need to remind myself what in the world I need. Okay, the main thing that I need is a card for my friend Megan's bridal shower, which is tomorrow. So I need to get a card for her, as well as wrapping paper. I have wrapping paper, but it's birthday wrapping paper, and I'm not going to be the person to show up with a, a crate and barrel gift wrapped in happy birthday wrapping paper at a bridal shower. So we're going to get some <laughs> more generic or bridal-like wrapping paper for that. I also need some travel toiletries, specifically travel hairspray. That's the one thing that I always forget to have. I need travel hairspray. I'm pretty sure I'm good on most of the others, but that's the one I made sure to write down because I know I need it. And then the last thing that I need, if they have one that I like that has like some wrist support, I need a new mouse pad because my cat puked all over mine in the middle of the night. I woke up to that nice surprise, which was great. And it was not salvageable. I'll just, I'll just say that much. It was she got very sick. <laughs> Poor thing. Also, now I'm seeing the irony that my cat threw up on my mouse pad. The jokes write themselves, folks. The jokes write themselves. And then after Target, I think I need to go fill up my gas tank, but also I want to run my car through a car wash because uh, tomorrow my friend and I are carpooling to the bridal shower, which is in San Diego. So we have a nice little road trip and I want my car to look nice. So that's next on the agenda. Let's go hopefully find everything on this list. We'll see. a couple of things. I just pulled back in my garage at home. Definitely a successful trip to Target. I found literally everything on my list. My only fear is that the wrapping paper is not enough for the box. I don't know. We'll wrap it in a second, but hopefully there's actually enough paper in that roll to cover the entire box. Fingers crossed because I don't want to go back out. Also, I don't know if anyone else is this way, but every time I go through a car wash like that, as opposed to one where they like hand wash it and you get out of your car, they do the inside. Every single time that I actually just drive through one of those 
these car washes, I feel like a little kid again. I think it's so much fun. I think it's so exciting. <laughs> and they're definitely not as like thorough as a hand wash, but I mean, come on, they're 12 bucks, they're cheap. It gets the job done relatively easily. And I wanted to whip out my camera right here because as I was pulling in, I saw my little squirrel friend that comes to visit me nearly every single day. I used to have one that would come and visit me first thing in the morning, but this one comes in the afternoon. I'm not even sure what happened to the other one. I hope he's okay, wherever he is. I haven't seen him in a long time, but this one comes in the afternoon to say hello. So I'm gonna go upstairs, grab some cashews, and uh, introduce you to my, my new squirrel friend. And then let's get this present wrapped, this card signed, and then we'll call it a day after that, I'm pretty sure. But before she runs away, let me, let me show you my friend. Look at Tony, he is so mad. <laughs> he is so mad that I get to be this uh, up close and personal with the squirrels. Okay, so the squirrel that visits me is right here. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's a she. Uh, I haven't seen any extra stuff, if you know what I mean. So I think it's a girl, I don't know for sure. But she's really sweet, really, really trusting and very gentle. Also, as a disclaimer, um, I did ask my friend who is a literal wildlife biologist <laughs> if this was okay, because the last thing I wanna do is be like harmful to animals or the environment in any way. She said, because I do live in Los Angeles and like squirrels in general, here are just very desensitized to people and they're eating garbage 99% of the time that doing this is okay. However, if this was like a more um, like deciduous area or a more natural environment, then it's like a huge no to feel like feed any wildlife. Oh, speaking of, here she comes. Look at her. She's like, I want more. You want more? Okay, here you go. But yeah, she's super, super sweet. Again, very trusting. Come here. Oh boy, she's climbing up my leg today. <laughs> hey, there you go. Wow, is it good? Oh my gosh, she just hopped in the potted plant right here. <laughs> Look at that. So anyway, this is my like hobby, if you can call it one. I just befriend the neighborhood squirrels in LA. This is 32, everyone. But if you do have like squirrel names, not that she's my pet by any means, like she is wildlife, but I do like to call them something. Like there was a boy that used to visit and I called him Stanley, but he, I haven't seen him in a long time. So I don't know what happened to him. I hope he's okay. But I haven't given this one a name, but she's very, very sweet. Again, clearly very, very trusting. And sometimes I'll even see her after she takes like a cashew or a peanut and she'll bury it in one of these potters over here. It's all quite cute, quite entertaining for me. All right, I think uh, I think that's enough cashews for our squirrel friend. Let's go ahead and get on with our day, shall we? Okay, please excuse my overflowing trash can and messy kitchen. I'm gonna take care of that in a bit. Present is wrapped. It is an oversized box. I didn't wanna put it in a different box because everything is prepackaged in like the crate and barrel protective packaging and I got her glassware, so I didn't wanna transfer it into a smaller box. It was a little bit difficult to wrap because it was just such a large package. That's what she said, but I think I ended up making it work. Also, something so sweet that they're doing for the shower, which is a great idea. I honestly don't don't think I've ever been to a bridal shower where they do this. Maybe this is a very traditional thing and I just haven't experienced it myself, but the host requested that everyone who is in attendance just brings on an eight and a half by 11 sheet of paper, a recipe that they love. And the bride is from Southern California. So I wanted to do something that she probably hasn't had on a regular basis. So I put in a recipe that is incredibly common in the South. It's just this Ritz cracker poppy seed chicken casserole. It is so nice not good for you, but it is so delicious. Kyle and I were laughing at the ingredients because it's literally like chicken, sour cream, butter, condensed soup. It is so not good for you, but I mean, it is delicious and it makes for really good leftovers, so. So that's what I printed out. I highly suggest giving it a try if it sounds like something that would be good for you, but it is a really, really good dish to like take to friends if they're like going through something, if they just had a kid, or if you just want to take it to a potluck, if people are bringing different dishes. It, it is really good again not not the most healthy but easily one of the tastiest though 
that is true. But yeah, I just thought that was such a sweet idea that everyone who is going to be attending is bringing a recipe that she can put into a binder and just have. Everyone was encouraged to put like a little note with the recipe for the bride. Yeah, I just thought that was a really sweet idea. So everything is set and ready to go. Oh, before I forget, I'll actually show you what I got her. So you probably noticed that the box was crate and barrel, like I said. These are the, wow, I look crazy through the thing. These are the glasses that she registered for, which thankfully they're also the glasses that Kyle and I registered for and I love them. They are so nice. They're so simple. I want to say they're called like the Crescent Cooler glasses. If I remember, I will put the link to the Crate and Barrel glassware in my description box, but I thought, how easy is that? I already know and love these and she registered for them. Makes my life very easy. But yeah, these have been really, really awesome. Highly suggest if either you're in the market for new glassware yourself or if you want to suggest them to someone else. But yeah, that's that on that. Also, like I said in the very beginning of this video, I know this wasn't a very typical like productive day in my life, although it was productive, but um, I wouldn't say it was typical by any means. Uh, hopefully you still enjoyed coming along with me for the ride. Thank you guys for hanging out with me today. I hope you have an awesome one. I am about to go take out this trash and call it a night, but I hope you guys are having an awesome one wherever you're watching this, whatever time you're watching this, and I will see y'all next week. Bye.